Compassion. Well, hello. This is my Messiah message. So today we're going to talk about compassion. I know. So Rachel Schwartz, Kabbalistic Astrology on Facebook. Amazeballs. Wow. I was going to say amazeballs. <laughs> I'm going to say amazing. She's wonderful. She's a breath of fresh air. Uh, she literally gives you a little lowdown as to what's going on in the cosmos as to how you can navigate navigate your energy for the entire week. Um, it must. Uh, it's like it's news. It's it's just it's you gotta read it. <laughs> you gotta watch her. Um, and her excitement, of course, amazing. So, with that being said, her thought today was about compassion. And something that really resonated for me was where the see where the person is coming from. A lot of times, as we get older, we see things very differently because we are encountering different people and we're learning different things. So we're seeing, you know, the older version of me will be hopefully much wiser than I am. And so on and so forth. So it is important to see where a person is coming from in order so that we can create a stronger connection so we can have more information so we can evolve faster and grow stronger um it's very if you know we have the extremes of our safety net and our wall of protection and of course whenever we have a strong difficulty whenever we have a huge challenge many years <laughs> at a time um, you know, when people are able to come together and remove their differences, then there's a great revelation of light. So when you look at nations, when you look at people, individuals, when you look at uh, countries, groups, gangs, all those elements, the, the amazing potential of light that is there. But a lot, and a lot of that takes on with compassion, just sitting there from, I think that sometimes it's very difficult for us to sit there and say like, for instance, the Michael Jackson situation, you know, where Oprah comes from, and it's been a pivotal issue with people, you know, have got the Michael Jackson fan, family and fans who are like, never know her, you know, and then you've got the Oprah people, the, the people on that whole situation, like, never know her, you know, and even in the support, you know, you got Trumpers, you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, you got Hillary's, yeah, yeah, you know, it's like people are rallying and getting very passionate. And I think that when we take a moment and just kind of see, okay, I disagree with you. <laughs> you know, acknowledge that you are your individual as a person, but just kind of put yourself in their shoes and, and look at how communication has been disseminated to them, how their views of things. When you go to another country, customs are totally different, the way you hand gestures, things like that. It's very important to become culturally aware in order to not have mishaps, you know, and I think that in a world where we can be quick to judge, you know, the reputation of a person, and then you've got the internet, you know, <laughs> one mistake, you walk into a water fountain, and everybody knows it, you know, that kind of element, so, you know, we just have to go on the element of compassion, and I think that right now, more than anything, you know, when we have the world shifting and things happening and, and, and that sense of transformation, I think it's really imperative to look inwards. And I think sometimes we can reach out to people and be like, I love you and I'm sorry, you know, and, and I'm sorry for whatever pain and suffering I have caused you and those kind of elements. Or, you know, we can just wish, you know, that kind of unity as a soul even though we don't may not be able to say those words because the person may not be ready we may not be ready all those kind of things but just have that frame of thought in mind and the element that we're all one and that we have to strive towards compassion because that's really how we're going to survive through love unity compassion understanding and like i always say it's not easy <laughs> you know it's not easy but we constantly hope that we surround ourselves with people that are going to remind us to be compassionate, to remind us to constantly change, to remind us to just be better people as human beings. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree?
I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful eternity.